Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Napa Platinum Cartridge Oil Filter, number 47047. Napa Auto Parts sells this filter for $18.99, and I got this used oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is John Parada from Yonkers, New York. Thanks, John. This oil filter was in service for 5,500 miles and came off of John's sister's 2016 Toyota Highlander. Yep, the one with the 3.5 liter V6 engine. And his sister was using Mobile One Advanced Fuel Economy 0W20 oil during this period. Let's open up this Napa filter and see how it did. So let's get started. It's just a network. You got a blue gun circle. Nice and tight. Get your hand here. Filtration. Okay, so before we cut this filter open, let's take a quick look at it. Right here's the size. 47047 and look over here made in China that's probably a date code down below 120220 okay and this filter has a metal crimp seam this is a full synthetic filter media and I counted 44 pleats and you can see the oil in there pretty good uh, you got these plastic end caps, and you can see a wire, looks like a metal wire screen inside. And I opened up one of these filters uh, a few months ago that was new, so I'm going to take the weight of this used one. The new one weighed uh, 61 grams. Let's see what this used one weighs. 117.8 grams. So you can do the math. It's a lot more, a lot more weight to this use filter. Oh, let's get the width. Let's get the width of this filter. Two point three one inches wide. Okay, so let's um, cut this filter open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, here's the filter all stretched out. And this filter is 59 and a half inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. 0.72 millimeters thick. It's on the thinner side, front side, back side, and let's take a look at this under a microscope. So as you can see, the light goes through here pretty good. So you can see, you can see little uh, carbon particles in there. Let's look at the rest of the filter here pretty clean it's got some soot on it though in some spots but not much you know mostly in these creases but there's like nothing for sparklies and overall it's pretty clean looking you know there's some soot like I said in there Right there is a sparkly, I see right there. I don't have my magnet on me, but. I'll, call, I'll come back to that. But you can see overall, it's pretty clean. Now, let me get my magnet. Okay, let's see if that's magnetic. Ooh, that one is. See that? You know, that fell off the side, though, because it was right there. So that could be part of the metal screen backing. Yeah, those on the side could be metal screen backing.
You can see them on there. All right, let's look at the rest of the filter. So there isn't much for the rest of the filter. You got these plastic end caps. You can see the wire. Like I said when I was cutting it, that the end on the ends here, ends of the filter, it could have been this wire right here because this is magnetic. See? And this is throughout the whole filter, all this. The backing for the filter. And that's it. That's all there is to this filter. So what do you guys think about this filter? And again, I want to thank John for sending me this oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. Here's a little bit of soot and carbon.